Okay, here we have the latest of the Waxy line of solution station dispensers, the Solsta Next Gen 4 product locking cabinet. Inside the box comes this hardware, and we'll identify it for you right now. The joggle bracket for hanging the dispenser onto the wall. The manual, which also has the plumbing certification compliance information right here. Most important information to the end user, right there. Drip tube, keys for locking and unlocking the dispenser. The brass Y and the hardware for hanging it, the screws. Basic tools needed will be a driver and a drill, an extension with a number two Phillips bit, quarter inch bits, standard or masonry, a knife, and cutters. All right, position the jog along the wall and ensure that it's level. Then take a pen to mark your spots for drilling. Depending on the wall surface, we will either use a combination of the screws and the anchors or just the screws. Now, because this is a hard surface, I do not need to use the anchors, so I'll use a smaller drill bit to drill pilot holes for the screws. Now that we have the pilot hole started, we'll go ahead and set our screws to hold the joggle in place. I'm going to hang the bracket right here on the joggle, like this, position it, slide it down, make sure it's on there firm, open the dispenser to make sure that it's riding on the guides right in there, and position it so you have equal gaps on both sides of the dispenser. Now with the extension in place, we're going to anchor the two bottom holes with the remaining screws. Okay, next we're going to install the Y splitter and we need to make sure that these are turned into the off position and then thread it on to three quarter inch male hose fitting. Attach the water hose, install the drip tube for the drip tray. At this point we are ready to put the chemical into the dispenser. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we are putting the product where it needs to go. Now this dispenser has four bays for holding product, but on the bottle fill side, we only dispense three products, top right and the two left banks. In the lower right hand corner, you only dispense water. So here, we always look for something that we want to put only in a bottle fill. To install, you simply take the cap, put it on top, make it snug, not overly tight, and you're ready to go. At this point, we're ready to prime the chemicals. I'll start with the bucket fill side and the upper left hand bank. If I turn the dial, making sure that's pointing to the top left corner, we're ready to go ahead and dispense. It doesn't take very long for the chemical to prime. Once it starts to come out, you can see the color changes just a little bit, and things start to foam up down inside the sink. To the next product and we'll keep doing this until all of the bays are primed. An important safety tip is to always make sure that we empty out the hose before we hang it back up. Now we'll prime the bottle fill side. Hold on a second. This one's going to take a couple because it doesn't have that. 